What is up, everybody? My name is Herping Yay, or you guys can just call me Herping. <laughs> um, we are going to be talking about what you guys should know before getting your your own pet alligator lizard. Now, as you may know, if you clicked on this video, um, that alligator lizards have a really bad temperament. They they bite. They um, musk. So if you don't want to be bit, if you don't want to get um, must on, then the um, alligator lizards are not the one for you. Because one day in you having one, you will be bit. I've personally never been bit by an alligator lizard. Um, I've been close to been bit uh, when I caught her. She was opening her mouth wide open. When I caught another alligator lizard, um, not Blazy, Blazy, um was given to me by my cousin um she she was super docile at the start but I, we caught another alligator lizard who was wide open and with its jaw so yeah if you don't want to be must on or bitten and um this is not the alligator lizard for you or not the lizard for you um if you don't like bugs if you don't like feeding live animals like bugs and so if you don't like bugs in general you shouldn't get a lizard because lizards most lizards if you're starting out with a small lizard um they need bugs because especially alligator lizards they're um strictly carnivorous they don't eat anything else they're insectivores they eat eggs um like bas like quail eggs they would climb to the trees and um yeah and if you don't like them if because once you reach your hand down in the cage that's why i do want like a cage that opens out from the front they will get startled because they can't see that that's your arm it could be another substance so one day he might open his mouth and you might not notice it and he might bite you so yeah also, I recommend um, crickets for them because they like to hunt um, rather than mealworms that they can't really hunt and they dig in the dirt. This is the only thing I would give to her out of her cage. Since I don't have my tongs, I have to touch these disgusting things. Oh, they fell. Um, but yeah, they rather hunt. So the only time I would feed them out of their cage is when you're feeding them these um, mega giant um, mealworms. But mealworms and superworms are not of the same species, so don't refrigerate these um, superworms. A lot of people accidentally do that, and then that's a waste of like five bucks if you get feed a bug. So I'll just put the superworm in here. We'll see if she eats it by the time this video is done. Oh, are you gonna eat it? She's like looking at it. But yeah, but if you are planning to feed them this, buy these big tubs. Um, they're about five bucks, and the small tubs, like, like with the um mealworms, like. They're, they're small, as you can see with the cat. They're small. Um, they come with about, like, I want to say, like, maybe 90. Um, these, these, um, I don't know how much they come with. A lot. I don't know. Oh, I thought she ate the super. Room. But, yeah. Recommended food, crickets, and not these. If you don't want to feed them out of their cage. Yeah, this is what you should know before you go out and get one of these lizards. They, oh, and they are massive escape artists. Um, especially if you have a stick, you should actually have a stick in your cage because they are semi-arboreal. Oh my god, I've, now that I'm like ending the video, I'm thinking of all these things that I should have said. Um, when you have a cage, um, like this, 
also always have like a little water area that they can just like climb in and um, sit in because they are um, semi warm blooded, which um, so they can heat themselves up, but they can't cool themselves down. So if they need to, they can just go in. But yeah, that is like the what you should think before getting these beautiful animals now um i don't think this applies to the uh, um the um abra wait the arboreal green um the arboreal green alligator lizard like the mexican alligator lizard that i don't think this does because i think they need more humid areas such as this too but um, she doesn't seem to mind her what happens in her enclosure. Oh, and now I think about substrate. Substrate, you can use dirt. Um, yeah, you can just use dirt. That's all if you can't, like, afford Eco-Earth. But Eco-Earth Eco is a better, um, thing to go with. But I personally don't get Eco-Earth. Because... My parents used to think it's another dirt. So yeah, that is what you should look out for before getting these alligator lizards. So yeah.